Welcome to Touchpoints TV. I'm Debbie House, Editor-in-Chief of Retail Touchpoints, and I'm here today with Matt Rubel, who's the Senior Advisor for TPG Capital, and also a former CEO for Collective Brands and Cole Haan. Welcome to you, and thanks for joining us today. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So we're here at the NRF convention, and um, we just wanted to get some uh, perspective from you on the topic of pricing. And you have a unique perspective because of your work, both with TPG and as a manufacturer. So I'm wondering if you could just share some of your insights on the challenges um, associated with that area. I think the tools available today for pricing have dramatically changed. And the way in which people have looked at pricing historically is, what's my initial price to be? They look at their markup structure, they look at their competitive set, and they look at their channels of distribution. And in looking at that, you can actually get much more precise with the information in trying to go out to that consumer base and side by side with the buyer and the planner actually start to decide what is the right initial price so that you can end up with optimal gross margin throughput that comes through after you end up marking the goods down if you in fact end up doing that. So the tools available today are so different than what a brand used to have in the past. Right. So, um, are there also um, issues around, you know, when we're going to, and you mentioned markdowns, when we're going to change pricing? Are we looking at changing pricing in a more real time timeline today versus in the past where, you know, it might be more structured? There's structure to when you're going to mark everything down, although you react to consumer trends on a dynamic basis. So, obviously, if something is slowing up in the weeks of supply or off plan, then you'll take that and you'll modulate it. I think one of the things that the digital era has enabled us to do is to go out and talk to customers first and then to put things in context on original price and then to bring that back down into our markdown curves and other things that we'll have that will optimize that gross margin. So at the end of the day, it's about do you want to drive transactions and units? Do you want to drive gross margin? And where do you price? And the initial price is really, really important and that's something that you could not empirically understand as clearly in the old days as you can today. So the results for companies today are much more precise and you know, what are, what are some of the um, other results that they can well, You expect? wish they would be precise, but they're, they're more precise. Right. So I would say you get a direction and, and taking any one tool and saying that is the only way of going I think is inappropriate. So you've got a buyer who understands their market, you've got merchandise planning, and then you end up using the new tools that are available on setting these original prices. And if you do that together, I think then you end up with something that will give you best effort and should end up being a continuous improvement tool uh, for what you see in the retail environment or the brand environment. One more quick question for um, companies that are looking to implement these new tools. Do you have any specific advice or questions they should ask when they're, when they're kicking off their um, research process? I, I think they have to think about, you know, how do they currently arrive at the original price? Is it just markup driven? Is it competitive driven? Is it channel driven? And if they're doing it all intuitively, what other kinds of empirical data can they bring in? And then, are they structured or organized and are they staffing to support that kind of a new pricing strategy? It used to be just a buyer did everything. Now you've got a buyer and a planner, so soon you're going to have a buyer, a planner, and a pricing expert. And I think that's the evolution of structurally what you're going to see in retail. Fascinating. All right, well, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you. And thanks to all of you okay. for joining us on Touchpoints TV.